today, we're gonna talk about ironing and how you can do it faster. Now my first tip is gonna be, you wanna sort your clothing into piles of like fabrics. So cottons go with cottons, linens go with linens, fabrics like polyester, rayon, they go together. You basically wanna sort it into piles that have corresponding heat settings. That way, when you're ironing, you can start with the lowest heat, like your silks, and then work your way up to the highest heat. That way you're not going back and forth between temperatures. Next up, you wanna take some heavy duty aluminum foil and you're gonna line your ironing board underneath the ironing board cover from bottom to top. You're gonna crimp it down around the edges so you get a nice snug fit. So now you have your ironing board cover back on top of the aluminum foil and what you've done is you've expedited the process of ironing because you've created a layer underneath that is going to reflect the heat up into the clothing. So basically you're ironing from both sides at the same time. Another good tip is to pay attention to which direction your ironing board is facing. If you're right-handed, you want the narrow end of the ironing board pointing to the left. And if you're left-handed, you want the narrow end pointing to the right. That way it's not awkward to iron. So the question is, do you starch or don't you starch? What I recommend is starch your collar and your cuffs. Those are the ones that you want really crisp and clean. So a light spray of the starch across the areas that you want starched and then an iron over it is all you need. And the last tip to remember is top to bottom. You want to start when you're doing shirts at the collar, move on to the shoulders, do the sleeves, and then the body of the shirt. That way you're working the wrinkles out and to the bottom as opposed to crunching them up to the top of the shirt. Same with your skirts and pants, start the waistband and work your way down. Ironing is never gonna be fun, but if you use these quick, simple tricks, you're sure to cut your ironing time in half, which, let's face it, is never a bad thing. Today, we're gonna talk about ironing and how you can do it faster. Now my first tip is gonna be, you wanna sort your clothing into piles of like fabrics. So 